Welcome to another Crop Cam. I'm Mark Coleman, Seed and Agronomy Advisor with Cropland Genetics and Agri Solutions. Today I have with me Chris Turk from FCA Co-op. Just come out of a weekend of eventful weather, uh, kind of some cool conditions. And, and Chris, could you please share with us what we kind of had around the area? Uh, wide uh, ranging uh, temperatures, anywhere from 32 degrees down to 28 degrees were reported last Saturday night. Uh, that did hold true for about uh, five, six hours, which was enough time to do a wide range of damage on crop that was already emerged. Uh, difference also in topography and also soil types. Coarser type soils may show more damage just because the cold can penetrate into them further. Yep, so here in front of us we have a row. Um, you can see as you look down the row, it affected plants from one to the other. We have quite a few that are partially damaged to very well damaged above ground dead tissue and then one being basically perfectly fine. Uh, we have some examples here. Um, Chris has kind of got one that has a lot of above ground damage and uh, the one I have basically looks fairly untouched. Uh, we just want to make sure that when you slice these open and you're looking at plant parts we want to have nice firm white interiors, a little bit of yellow tinge uh, some of these we've been cutting open, you, you may see some dead tissues above ground, but hopefully the ones that you cut open uh, still have good, good white firm interior material. The coleoptile sheaths, the mesocotyl coming from the seed up to the nodal roots, we want to keep that all nice and healthy, okay? So unfortunately what happened, happened. We can't go back and change that, but my concern now is, is what's happening, is we got some cool weather this week, are some of these dead leaves going to shrink wrap, for lack of better words, a shrink wrap effect where the new growth cannot get out of that point? We want to keep looking at that, but we really need three or four good days of growing conditions to make any judgment calls on any of these farms, any of these fields. If you're staging your corn, we need to look at the collars. I'll use this one as a better example. You have your first true leaf, you have a first full leaf that we can count because it has the collars wrapping around the, the, uh, the sheath, if you will. And this one at V2, it's just about ready to express its second full set of collars. So staging your crop is very important. If we lose that top growth, we're going to need to slice that open and see what stage it was at due to the growing point and nodal roots within it. So another thing to follow up with your local co-op agronomist and check out. Um, Chris, uh, V6 is a, is a big time in the, in the plant's life cycle. What, what factors evolve around V6? V6 is uh, very important when it comes to a lot of the conventional herbicides that we are beginning to again tank mix with the uh, Roundup system. Uh, we have to look at the label, find out if V6 and after is a time that we do not want to use that chemical. If that is the case then we have to be very diligent about staging this crop. If we are two leaves off because these two leaves uh, wilted and fell off that could be huge as far as chemical damage down the road. Also V6 is when we're going to be doing a lot of tissue sampling uh, this year. When we stage that crop it's very important to know the stage uh, because of the differences in demand on a lot of micronutrients. Uh, so that's another reason we also have to get that stage correctly. And as far as the frost scare was concerned, V6 is when the uh, growing point's above ground. So luckily, the growing point was still below ground. We're safe as far as that. It does not change the maturity of the plant, but it does obviously affect the above ground plant characteristics. Uh, one other thing on planting depth, depth, as long as you're checking your, your plants for, for frost damage, look at your length of your mesocotyl, which is from your nodal rings to the seed and add three quarters of an inch. So here we have about a half to three quarter inch mesocotyl plus another three quarter inch was probably the soil line was right about here. That planting depth was about an inch and a half. Just something else to check is as far as your plantability and how your your planter depth control was set. As if you're digging up these plants you might as well check your planting depth when you're doing this. Um, you know we got a lot of a lot of acres that may be affected by this but we honestly need three or four good days of weather to make any decisions. Please work with your local co-op agronomist on this. If there is a replant issue or concern, Cropland does have a 100% replant policy on its corn. 
please ask them about the details pertaining to that. But as usual, another Mother Nature episode comes through on the US 104 Crop Cam.